When we last met, we had just had our second board meeting. As you recall, this board, the advisory board on SSMMD model, uh, started in October last year. So after our second meeting, we established what we called working groups, three working groups. Uh, one of them was handling policy, regulation, and real advocacy. And then the second group was dealing with issues of infrastructure and technologies. And the third group was dealing with the partnerships and financing models. So they have worked so hard throughout the year, and uh, I'm happy to say that we now have produced a report assessing this, looking at this uh, situation analysis now in terms of ICT for disaster management, but also looking at ICT for disaster, uh, I mean ICT for development, and uh, through the assessment, looking at different pra good practices, and they have come out with recommendations and proposing some actions. So today, we were able to launch our report. What we hope to achieve First of all, this report as it was launched today will be on the website of ITU. It will be public. But what is important is that from this report and from the recommendations of the working groups, we have now sort of summarized what will be our action plan. And that action plan is looking at those three areas. But you could say now, these areas now can be summarized into about three pillars. So one pillar would be uh, advocacy itself, together with the addressing it from the global angle. The second pillar will look at all the innovations you want uh, to move this forward. And of course, the third, third one will be mobilization for financing mobilization. But what is important is that how do we change from the current use of ICT whenever there is infrastructure and so on, whenever there is a disaster. Uh, and the change is that as countries develop the ICT for development, the infrastructure, as they put in place regulation, all sorts of regulation, as they license operators, that they take into account the issue of disaster management or disaster uh, mitigation.